Today we're going to be making artwork inspired by an artist named James Rizzi. So you can see this little example here of Rizzi's artwork. He creates these cool buildings, but instead of just drawing a regular building, he typically adds kind of like a goofy face and kind of goofy tops to some of the buildings. So you can see we've got regular ones, they just have windows, and then we've got all these goofy faced ones, and we've got some silly birds here too. So we're going to try to work in the style of James Rizzi. We might come up with something like this or something like this, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're using some really simple shapes. We've talked a lot about shapes this year, and the first shape we're going to use is a rectangle. That's going to make our buildings. So I'm going to try to start on this side of my paper and work my way across, and I'm going to start with a building. And I'm going to keep this one simple, so I'm doing a straight line, and I'm making my rectangle, bring it all the way down to the edge of the paper, and then I might work on the next one, and maybe this one is kind of tucked behind that one a little bit, so it's going to come kind of across like this, and then maybe my next building is going to be here, and this one might be kind of a small building, and then I'm going to kind of extend this line up and bring this one over. And then my last building is going to be um, right here. So I'm just going to do a line across. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five rectangles. And now we're going to add some silly hats or tops to our buildings. So one shape that you could use for the top of your building is a triangle. So a kind of like an upside down V, I'm going to do a diagonal line, another diagonal line. And maybe on top of that, I'm going to even add some circles. We're going to get really crazy. How about three circles? Okay. Then I might come over to this building and this one maybe has kind of like a line that goes like this and a chimney that comes out like that, another rectangle, and maybe even some fun diagonal lines on there too. All right. That looks pretty good. Now let's see. I think on this building, this one's kind of my shortest building. So maybe instead I want to keep it short. So I'm going to put some triangles like this. Kind of looks like bangs now. And over here on this building, I might add, I'm going to add kind of like a funky shape to it. I'm going to add like a half circle on each side. And then like a shape that kind of comes like this. Another one here. And then it's going to have like a top part that kind of shoots up. Okay, so that one's got like a fancy hat or some fancy hair on it. And then this last one, I think what I'm going to do is add like a smaller rectangle on top and some more triangles like this. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to add another piece too. This one's like a three-tiered cake. All right, so there's my funky buildings. Now we're ready to add our silly faces. So I've got a sheet for you that looks like this on one side oops and it looks like this on the other side so it's got a bunch of different faces so you can choose whichever faces you want for your buildings most of the time we're gonna put our faces towards the top so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw some faces and you can draw along with me maybe I want to add some eyelashes I mean, they're pretty silly drawings. It's a, it's a face after all, right? And I want to give this one some cool lips. So I'm going to have this one kind of come like that. And then the bottom lip is going to go like that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's see. This one is going to have some oh, or, uh, rectangle eyes. And I want it to look like it's looking over at the building next to it. So there's my iris, and then the black part is my pupil. This one's, I'm going to give this one a nose. I'm going to give it a triangle for a nose, and then I'm going to give it a fun, funny face with some teeth that kind of stick out of its mouth. I like it. All right, let's see. This one, it's got, a, it's the smallest one, but it's going to have the biggest mouth. And it's, we're going to be able to see all of the teeth. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Let's see, what kind of eyes should I give this one? I want it to have some big oval eyes. I haven't made any oval eyes yet. So big ovals, and then you 
can just see the bottom. So the eyes here. Oh, I like it. I like it. I want to give this one a nose too. This one's going to have a pretty like human kind of nose. Okay, so I'm just working my way across. I've got two more to do, but I also want to add some windows down towards the bottom of the, of the building. So maybe I'm going to do a square with a cross in it. Okay. This one, I think I can fit a third one. Yeah, they're all different sizes. Maybe I even have some doors down at the bottom of my building I can draw. So a rectangle and some little circles for um, the doorknobs. And then this section, I'm going to give it a big window. And that window is going to have this, and then it's going to kind of cross like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to keep working, I'm going to add windows, and then the last step is to go in and color. So I've got some color sticks here, and I'm going to use those, and I'm going to just do my best to kind of color things in as neatly as possible. Maybe I'm going to add some extra details too here while I'm thinking of it. So maybe I'm going to add a sun, and of course, it's a silly sun. It's got to have a face too. And then it's got straight lines and zigzag lines that go out from it. You can't have a regular sun in a silly city. Okay, maybe I'm also going to add some clouds. Oops. Okay, and my clouds are going to just kind of be puffy shaped. That's the fun thing about clouds. They can look however you want. Okay, I'm just going to keep working on my details and I want you to just do your best and do the same.